Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, go ahead and subscribe and activate those notifications by clicking on that bell icon below. So the cool thing about doing um, commission work is that sometimes I get pushed out of my comfort zone and paint things that I normally would never paint. And it's cool because I think it allows me to grow as an artist and such. Now this wasn't a commission, but it's along the same lines of painting something I know would never really paint. My nephew wanted a painting and of course I'm going to do it because he's my nephew and I love him but he wanted a Mexican flag. And not anything against the Mexican flag, I just don't think any flag... I love Mexico actually, that's like my second home away from home. But I just think painting any flag, to me, it doesn't seem interesting or appealing, or it doesn't entice any type of... it doesn't activate any creative neurons in my head or anything of that nature. But that's what he wanted and what I'm gonna do. So I figured, how can I make this interesting? And the cool thing about the Mexican flag is that it has a very intricate design in the center, which is the, I think it's an eagle, eating the snake on top of the cactus. So I'm going to do it like if this was spray painted on some old wall, and I'm going to make it look like graffiti, only it's going to be using acrylic paints. I'm not going to use spray paint. So that's going to be my goal and my task for this painting. And another thing is, today is Tuesday. It has to be done by Friday because he gets here on Friday. Though I would never paint this, I'm actually excited, you know, for the challenge. I'm painting, I'm painting over something else, and the good thing about drawing with Sharpie is that if you want a reference line, it's always going to be there. But the bad thing about Sharpie is that, I don't know if you can see it, if you don't want the line, it's really hard to get rid of. So since I want this to be like an old wall, I think I'm going to start with some yellow just to create a, like, you know, like those old type of, I'm thinking like those walls that are like in very industrial places, so there's like rain and water and then the tin or whatever the surface is kind of turns yellowish, brownish or grayish, so that's what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to start with a very bright yellow, but with very dirty water and a dirty brush. You know what I do like a lot? The Mexican Anthem. When I was a teacher, I used to play it all the time. I think it's very well written, very poetically written, and I don't know, for some reason I really like the... Well, other than the U.S., the American Anthem, I don't know anyone, I don't know another one other than the Mexican one. And I do like the American too. I guess I'd have to hear another country's national anthem. That's neither here or there. Now let's lay this dry. And I think once it dries, I'm going to come in with a little brown action. So I applied the brown the same way that I applied the yellow, and I'm going to put some gray. Once again with the dirty brush and dirty water. And I will let this dry. Or right, now I'm going to add some dirty white with a dirty brush. Okay, so once this dries, I'm going to come back and redo the lines. I'm going to take a sharpie and just retrace them just so they're present because I don't want them to disappear because if they disappear, that means I have to draw it again. I don't want to draw it again. I just want to have them present. 
I've already started adding the white. I have retraced it with black just to have these lines pop. So I'm going to add another layer of white and then I'll start painting this black and adding, you know, the red and the green. Obviously these are not the colors, but I'm going to build them so I start with light versions and then just add on top and top to create the layered color, not something just flat. I'm not gonna start building this red, make it darker and not orange. So I'm thinking about a place where I'm liking where it's going, but I just went to dinner and I think I had one too many margaritas, so it's going to be interesting to see if I can do this. Well, it turns out the margarita had no effect on my painting skills because I'm almost done and I love the way it's coming. I, I, I really do like this process. I didn't think I was going to enjoy painting a fly because it's like boring, but I like my concept of it being painted like an old wall. And maybe just make it more urban street style type thing. I like it, I like it. So I am finished and I love the way it came out. I like this whole graffiti-ass street art style of the way I did it. I'm very pleased with the final steel way. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, oh that's not the right shade of green or that's not the right shade of red. Well, the exact shades of the colors have not been defined by law. So technically I could have used lime green. Overall design of the Mexican flag came about in 1821, but it has been redesigned several times. And the last time the flag was revised was in 1968 by the artist Francisco Evans Elguera. He's the one who did the design. So there's several ones and it's actually cool to go and look at the previous versions of the flag and how they varied. So the green means hope, the white is union, and the red symbolizes the blood of the heroes. And even what the colors mean has changed throughout the years. This has always been the same, you know, the eagle eating a snake on top of a prickly pear cactus. And this, this was a sign to the Aztecs that they were to create their city, Tenochtitlan, Tenochtitlan, Tenochtitlan where they saw an eagle eating a serpent on a prickly pear cactus, which happened to be in the middle of the lake. So they created their city there, Tenochtitlan, which is now current day Mexico City, which I love, my second home. So that's it. I hope my nephew likes it because it's going in his bedroom. I'm really pleased with it. I never thought that I would enjoy painting a flag, but it was a fun process. And that's all for today's video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and activate those notifications by clicking on that bell icon below. And check out all the other content in my channel. I'll leave my Instagram right here so you can check that out as well. And until next time, adios y bye.
Mexicanos al grito de guerra, el volar de grito, y retiembla en su santo al sonoro rugir del cañón.